Anyone who's addicted to a TV show knows it usually doesn't take too long to get hooked. And now Netflix knows the exact number of episodes it takes for some of its most popular shows. So when it comes to our favorite shows, what keeps us coming back? Good question. Heather Brown joins us right now. So you know I got into Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt right away. You did. You got yeah. into the first episode. But it takes most people four episodes to get there. Breaking Bad? just two shows in but what's interesting here is that we're not usually couch potatoes when we watch TV even though we think we might be we're actually very much engaged and there are some tricks that keep us more engaged than others what gets you hooked being able to see like people that relate to me suspense something that surprises you over time everything hinges on the next few minutes uh, Kevin Spacey big draw for me. By episode three of House of Cards, people were on board. And just how quickly it became like, it's like this is going to go downhill really fast. Yeah. How I Met Your Mother, it was the eighth episode that sucked everyone in. It takes a while just to get to know people. Think about how long it takes you to become friends with somebody. Kevin Souter teaches communication studies at the University of St. Thomas. We watch television in order to develop relationships with these characters. They become our media friends. Orange is the New Black is kind of interesting because it's a women's prison. Get some toilet paper. I wasn't hooked to the first episode. The first episode I thought it was kind of weird actually. What was interesting to me is people don't get hooked on the pilot. Yeah, the pilot is a little bit of a different animal than people realize. Pilots are produced separately to sell the show. It's done one time and uh, it's oftentimes different than what happens. They even sometimes change cast members. Shorter scenes may also make us pay more attention. These short scenes make us stay on top of that because as soon as you switch to a new location, you're going, why are we there? What's happening? Who's in the scene? How does this contribute to the overall story? <laughs> What about the oldest trick in the book? Do you like the cliffhanger? They work. <laughs> Even though it sucks, they work. I do. The cliffhanger is, uh, is absolutely tried and true in uh, television. It was you, Kristen. Yes, it was Kristen the mistress who <laughs> shot JR, worked back in 1980. Cliffhanger still works now. And of course, sex and violence also still sell, but it's more the suspense and the drama that comes with, yeah, with yeah. those two things. I believe that. Yeah, I believe that. Absolutely. It was interesting. It's yeah. very interesting. What's also interesting about this is how we watch now. We binge watch more than yeah. we that watch true. like very every week. So that could change a little bit of what, right, what we're looking for in and shows. And you and I liked that show Limitless last oh, night. Yeah. It was so I'd be very curious good. to see if other people pick mm -hmm. up on that. Yep. All right. Thanks, Heather. Mm -hmm. Bye, Heather. If you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to WCCO.com slash links.